Do you know what you were doing one year ago, 7 a.m. Eastern time? We do. Well, yeah, I hope they were watching us. <laughs> I, hope I hope they were watching part of a yeah. tradition. You know, they watch yeah. every morning. Uh, every yes, morning at home. 7 a.m. <laughs> I'm thinking that's the day we became your favorite morning show. You're welcome. It was one year ago today that we launched CBS Mornings right here in this brand new studio with a new look and a new co-host. His name is Nathaniel Eugene Burleson, but we just call him Nate. <laughs> hey, Nate. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Yeah, a year ago, I started a new job with some co-workers that are now like family to me. I love you guys. Aww. Congratulations yeah. on the anniversary. Love you yeah, we feel yeah, the we same. Love you love too. You I'm love sorry you. you weren't here to enjoy the Lunchable um, <laughs> mosaic because Giselle just walked in who does my hair says, well, I've never seen one of those. That's different. It's very different. <laughs> Only <laughs> here at CBS Mornings. And they for did the a show. great job. They for the show that job. has everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And speaking of everything, Nate, you've got a house that's got everything. And to yes. celebrate, we got to mm. let our viewers know that you invited all of us over. The three of us, about 40 of our closest friends as did well on the team. Did he invite us, team. Tony, or uh, just we showed just up? Show we did just show, show up. up. Yeah. And only Vlad was smart enough to bring a bottle of wine. Uh, he bought. He, he had the drinks. I had the food, I think it's fair to say. Gail, what did you provide exactly? My appetite. The appetite. appetite yes. And your... And my pleasing personality. Sous chef. Gail <laughs> Kim brought the party, people. <laughs> Nate Burleson, we're here. Hi. I knew that was you. I brought my appetite. <laughs> Are you ready to eat? We do yes, need to I eat. Am. Medium, Medium hot. hot, and then I need a little bit of a lower oh, cooking. All right. Okay. I've invited you guys here because we've been working so much. We have never had a chance to be here at the same time. So I appreciate you guys showing up. The grill is hot. All right. Let's, hot. let's get okay. this let's on. Go. Let's do this. What do you do? Cut it in half? Just tear it off the stem like this. Nate's got gold knives, so I'm being very delicate. How long will it take before our meal is ready? Asking for a friend. You guys know where I got this from? CBS Deals? Damn right. No way. No, no you really did not. Oh, yeah. All right, we're ready for battle. Are we ready? Here we go. One last look. I don't think I've ever done this before in my life. Lifted up a grill and put anything on it. God, this makes me wish I could cook. All right, Mr. Cruz, give us your best cocktail. <laughs> Oh, that tastes like vacation. <laughs> Get it while it's hot. Does anyone want the potatoes I made? Yeah. <laughs> Cr crickets. Salad's going real fast. <laughs> so many people will reach out to me on social media and they'll say, you guys really seem like your friends. And I'm like, we actually we hang out yeah. outside of work. Yeah. Like We, we actually have. do like yeah. each other. Yeah. yeah. If you had to pick a couple of stories that over the course of the year that really stuck out to you, either something that you've covered or a guest that we've had on the show, I know it's hard because the news it cycle moves yeah. so well, quickly. You know, you're, you're constantly thinking about what's next. Yeah. Yeah. But you were in Poland mm -hmm. covering the war in Ukraine. But after walking for days and for miles, what people really want is just a place to sit down and get warm. Tony, you have this way of telling these stories mm -hmm. that are. Stories that have been told before, but you do something different about it. You put the audience in the shoes of people who are just like them. She didn't deserve that. No. She didn't. Oh, she didn't. That's what the show's all about, right? Mm -hmm. It's about making a connection. You are more than just wallpaper to them. You're a part of their family. You're at their breakfast table. And they say that all the time. All the time. They say, I, yeah. woke, I wake up with you. Yes. Or if you're not there, where's Nate? Yeah. Where's Vlad? Where's Tony? When are they coming back? People really, is it raining? Yeah. It is. That, which is why we're inside. We just made wow. it inside. <laughs> you can't program camaraderie. You cannot do that. Of course. It's either it's there or it isn't. And I think for us, it gelled very quickly. What's your name is? Nate Burleson. Nate Burleson. <laughs> Around here we call him AKA Nate the Great. Let's flashback. <laughs> when you first came on the show, you did you filled in for Vlad and what to watch week, yeah. right? Oh, Come on! <laughs> I was doing a good job! You wore shorts on day one. And a hat. And a hat? 
We all noticed that outfit. But I also first. didn't want to blend in. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I'm a wide receiver. We're divas. Let's <laughs> just keep it real, okay? I never feel bored at this job, ever. Even if it's a slow news day, I still never feel bored. I watch it, even though I'm on the show every day, I watch it still as a viewer. As a viewer, yeah. Like, when you did your interview with Michael J. Fox, I'm a huge Michael oh J. Fox God. fan. Yes. That was so powerful. Do you remember that moment when you guys cried together? Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, because she said, what, well, I came from the doctors and I obviously looked like I just got hit by a truck and she said, what happened? I said, I have Parkinson's. You with Megan The Stallion, mm, I mean, yeah. we learned things that we didn't know. It shouldn't have got this crazy. It shouldn't have escalated to right. the way that it did. That's actually the great thing about this job. I always say it's the best job in the world because you get to go to places everyone doesn't get to go, you get to talk to people not everyone can talk to, right. and you get to ask the questions of people in power uh, that other people have on their mind. There will be severe and swift consequences that there will he be a He didn't seem to say to that yesterday, though, at the news conference. That's why there is some, that's why I think clarification is needed. I really do believe you can ask any question. You just have to have the right setting, the right tone, the right time. Jennifer, should I expect an invitation anytime soon to a wedding? Should I say, <laughs> right side, should, anything? You'll be the first to know, Gail. <laughs> there was one guy that came in, and we all collectively knew He's on his way to something bigger, like the world did. Mm -hmm. who, who, but John Batiste came. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Does Stephen Colbert need to look for a new band leader? <laughs> <laughs> Does he need to take applications? Well, I do know this. <laughs> Yesterday's price ain't today's price, Gil. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> The moment with Henry Winkler, can oh, I just tell oh, you oh, that- that meant, yes. I, Hi, Vladdy. Hi, Vladdy. Oh. How are you? Oh, Mike. I'm so happy to see you. But you really, I mean, your whole face just lights up when there's something that really delights you. One of my favorite moments, uh, for some reason, we had a football helmet in the center of the table. Commanders <laughs> in the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. They were like, running around in the studio. It was like the movie yeah, yeah. Step Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Did we just become <laughs> best friends? <laughs> so let's uh, serve some of this wine. The last year has been a whirlwind. These are long days and early mornings. But Gail, if I'm falling asleep here, elbow me in the ribs, <laughs> all right? Don't just let me go out. No, no I'm going to rock you to my bosom, Tony. <laughs> it's okay. Or that. It's okay. <laughs> There's times when we look at each other and we see the fatigue, but we turn the switch on, one, because we appreciate the job, yeah. and two, because the viewer is sitting there waiting. But to us, your family, and that's why we left that seat open for you. Yeah. So Cheers. tell a friend. Let's hear your Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, was oh, delicious. Man. Ah, there, that end. was a lovely afternoon, Nate Burleson. Ooh. We all walked out of there drooling about well, your house saying, we want to stay here. <laughs> you are clearly the host with the most. <laughs> well, thank you. you I appreciate Burleson, that. And I appreciate you, you guys joining Mrs. us. Burleson. Yes, you shout Mrs. out Burleson. to my wife. Shout out to my wife. That's right. You know, I, I know this is a celebration, but I couldn't help but to get emotional. We, we do have a great job and we have so much fun and there is so much love, not just with us, but also everybody else behind the scenes. So I want to say thank you to the team, the CBS family.